Hello and welcome to the Tigray Pup Channel. In this video, I'll be doing a review and face swatch of the NYX SFX Cream Color Palette in Primary. If this topic interests you, then please keep watching. Okay, so right here I'm just showing you what the palette looks like online. Um, here's what the palette it looks like when it's, when it's open. And here are the swatches that they have um, listed on the website. And here is all the three shades that are available for this particular uh, face and body paint palette. And this is the price of how much you can expect to pay according to NYX website. Here is a description of all three palettes and their claims. And here is instructions on how to apply. Pause to read. Okay, here is a one star review. Uh, this person purchased this palette at Ulta. They tried to black and it was very difficult to get off. So they just threw everything away. Okay, so here's a three star review where a person is complaining about the inconsistent results and the confusion about which color should and shouldn't be used on the eyes or the lips. And also that the red stains like crazy, so be careful. Okay, so we have another three star rating here. This person was satisfied with the blending and pigmentation of the colors. However, they were saying that the pigment uh, label in the back was all jumbled up and they ended up having an allergic reaction to um, this product. Pause to read. Okay, so right here I'm showing you that I got my auto confirmation on December the 29th. I'm not sure why they said that uh, they shipped my order on November the 2nd, but once I looked at my UPS uh, statement, it was shipped on the 3rd of January, as you can see here, and delivered on the 3rd of January. So that would be a total of six days from the order confirmation to my actual delivery date. Okay, so right here I'm just showing you the actual palette. And if you take a look at the back, uh, it tells you that certain colors aren't supposed to be used around the eyes and the lips and whatnot. So I'm just showing you that. Uh, me in this video, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna use it on either. Right here, I'm just showing you um, the expiration date, which is two years from opening. Okay, so here's video of when I open, uh, what my box looked like. I didn't pulled off the labels and whatnot but yeah I'm just showing you uh, what the packaging looks like okay so right here I'm gonna open my package and we're gonna see all the items that I made in my purchase because I didn't just buy this one uh, palette I bought a couple of different things so we're gonna take a look and see what we have inside All right, so here we go. Okay, so I have me a um, dewy finish uh, setting spray. As you can see here, it's the large bottle because I, I figure I'm gonna be using it quite a lot. Um, here is a lip lingerie. Uh, don't ask me what shade, cause I can't remember. And here is my primary palette from NYX. Uh, SFX color cream color uh, palette face and body palette as you can see here this is what the packaging looks like all right and here's my second palette the NYX SFX cream uh, color palette in metal yes Okay, so our first colors are going to be gray and white. 
and um, we're just gonna take a look and see what uh, this product is giving. Okay, so from the footage that I'm looking at right now, the white is definitely a lot more pigmented than the gray, as you can see here. Uh, the gray is not bad. Um, yeah, but we're going to get a close-up soon. So we'll take a really good look and see how this is turning out. But I mean, that white, I mean, it is very stark white. And getting so much pigmentation here. Okay, so I'm giving you a comparison here between the gray and the white at one time. So you can see how that gray is looking and how the white is looking. It's very pigmented as far as the white. I really like this white. The gray is not too bad either. Okay, so right here I'm just showing you what the gray looks like by itself. Uh, you can take a look and see how that's uh, looking. And up next I'm going to show you what the white looks like by itself. So you can take a look and see how that's looking. Okay, so right here we're going in with the red and the black and we're going to do the same thing that we did with the two previous colors. Uh, right here I'm going to show you where the red is and I'm going to go in with the black uh, after. So let's begin.
Okay, so this red is not like that burgundy red that I was telling you about in the previous videos. Uh, it's literally looking like just a regular red. And up next, I'm going in with the black. Uh, I like the red. It's not bad at all. It's very pigmented. And it looks very smooth. Um, it's not as uh, glossy. So maybe, I guess you would say this is a, a satin finish, if I'm not mistaken. Honestly, I don't know. But... Um, we can see what the product is giving. The black is very pigmented. I don't see any uh, or very little uh, complexion peeking through. Um, and this is on the first application. Uh, but we're going to take a closer look and see what, was, what it's really giving. Okay, so just keep watching. Just a reminder, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks. Okay, so right here I'm just showing you what the two colors look like side by side. As you can see here, uh, we got very good pigmentation. And I, I'm pretty satisfied with both of these shades, honestly. Okay, so we're going to start with the black by itself, as you can see here. Um... I like it. It's not, uh, I, I, I don't really see my pigmentation, my natural uh, skin color coming through as much. Um, and the red is just the same. It's very smooth and um, it's not greasy looking. It actually looks kind of like a, I believe they call it a satin finish. Okay, so up next we're going in with our blue and we're going to do our yellow. We're going to start with our blue and we're going to see what, we, what this product has to give. Okay, so from what I see, uh, the blue, it takes a little bit more building. Uh, it's a little bit more um, transparent along the top portion, like on my forehead. But uh, as you can see on the side, on my, the side of my face, you know, at the very bottom, uh, it's more pigmented because I applied more products. So uh, that's something to take note of. Okay, so now we're going in with the yellow. Uh, take a look at this pigmentation here. Honestly, I think I could see um, my complexion coming through. Uh, you can let me know in the comment section down below what you think. Uh, but it's building pretty good. Um, doesn't seem to shift quite as bad as uh, the previous uh, videos that I did uh, with the yellow. 
Um, I don't know. It's probably about what and what. I mean, because I could see my complexion right through that. Or maybe it's just more obvious because of the contrast. I mean, the yellow being such a light color and um, I'm a dark complexion person. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. But uh, we're going to take a close up and we're going to take a look and see what the ending or the final results look like. So stay tuned. Okay, so right here, I'm just showing you the comparison between the blue and the yellow on the same at the same time. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, these colors are very pigmented. I like it a lot. The yellow, maybe not so much. Uh, it's okay, but it's giving uh, more coverage than like uh, the yellow and the wet and wild. Uh, but that's just my opinion. But we're going to do a comparison soon. So keep an eye out for that. Okay, so here is the blue by itself. As you can see here, uh, I don't see very much of my pigmentation right here that's coming through. Uh, it got me like really good coverage here. I'm very impressed here. Okay, so on the yellow, uh, it's okay. Uh, I still see streaks. I still see my complexion coming through. But then again, it's a yellow. Okay, so up next, I decided to include uh, some removal tips to make it easier for to remove. I got all these items from Walmart, so just check it out. Uh, as you can see here, I got me some um, tiles. I would prefer to use white because you can see how much uh, stuff is coming off. And I got me some oil. Any oil would do. Uh, I just chose this particular one. Uh, actually, that's a different oil. But anyway, I just put a few drops of oil in my palm of my hand. I'm uh, just showing you the brand that I'm using here. Like I said, any oil will do. And we're going to massage that in to kind of break up that uh, makeup so that it'll be easier to remove. Massage it in really good and make sure we break break that, uh, that foundation, I guess, up. And what I'm going to do next is take a warm towel. It doesn't have to have soap on it, but we're going to use that to wipe off the... Um, the foundation now I did this about like three times uh, personally um, and I'm able to get like 90% 99% of the foundation off and the reason why I recommend this is because I have acne prone skin and I thought maybe I would share this tip with you okay so uh, I also use uh, the Neutrogena cleansing towels cloud towels as you can see here and I'm gonna use that like I said with in conjunction with the oil like I said, a few drops of oil in the palm of your hand, massage it between the palms of your hand and apply it to your face and kind of work that product through. And then you're gonna go in with your warm towel, wet warm towel and wipe off uh, the product. I'm sorry, not warm wet towel. In this case, I'm using my Neutrogena wipes. Uh, I don't think you can get much of the product off with the Neutrogena wipes, which is why I recommend the warm wet towel because it like, after three swipes, I mean, it's totally gone. Um, but right here, I'm just showing you, uh, you know, we, when you use the wet wipes, uh, it takes a little bit off at a time. It doesn't give you a thorough clean, but it's kind of like I'm using it in this video to kind of like get off whatever is remaining, if that makes any sense. And I'm going to follow all of this up with uh, washing my face with soapy, with soap and water. Uh, so I would recommend that as well. First thing I would like to say about this product is to please be careful around the eyes or the mouth because in... The example I gave you for the review, somebody caught uh, an allergic reaction. So please be careful. Okay, so um, my least favorite product as far as pigmentation is concerned is the yellow followed by the gray. That's my opinion. Okay, so um, the first thing I like to say is that I love the finish of this product that is not dewy and it has like a satiny finish. Um, I love the pigmentation and I would definitely recommend this product to a friend. Thanks for watching.
Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.